I, I saw like shadows across the across the hallway like my mom was like walking back and forth. I kept trying to yell. Help, I kept yelling that and I'm yelling that and nothing was coming out and at that point I was bawling. Peace, love, and namaste, guys. What is up? My name is Zisai. Welcome back to the channel if you're subscribed or if you've seen me before. If not, and you like this video and my content, definitely subscribe. You're gonna hear a lot more story times like this and just get overall really cool content. So, you guys click this video for a reason. My first sleep paralysis story. And you might be watching this because you don't know if you've had sleep paralysis before or you know for a fact you have and you wanna hear a different story just to kinda of relate to them. And one thing I wanna tell you off the bat is sleep paralysis is somewhat a natural thing that happens to us. And now, I wanna read you a version of what the definition of sleep paralysis is. Sleep paralysis, a frightening form of paralysis that occurs when a person suddenly finds himself or herself unable to move for a few minutes, most often upon falling asleep or waking up. Sleep paralysis is due to an irregularity in passing between the stages of sleep and wakefulness. So basically what that means is our mind and our body go through different stages as we sleep and when sleep or paralysis occurs is when we're traveling from one stage of sleep to another. So basically you're like half sleep, half awake, which is a really crazy concept to think about but it's actually what's happening. And don't freak out if you had sleep paralysis before. I don't think you're haunted or anything like that, you're not possessed, I'm pretty sure. Um, fun fact, and don't quote me on the exact percentage, but somewhere between 70 and 80% of people have experienced sleep paralysis, whether they're consciously aware of it or not. And like I said, in this video, I'm gonna talk about my first sleep paralysis that I've had, but honestly, if I had, I've had a lot of sleep paralysis, and you know what's really cool is that I've recently discovered how to wake myself up from that, just because I've had it so many times that I'm consciously aware that it's happening. So I'm gonna be dropping another video talking about how to wake up from sleep paralysis, so make sure you stay tuned into that. And now, we get into the story. So this happened a while back. I can't remember the exact age I was, but I know I was like between the ages of 8 and 11. Just because I remember specifically the bunk bed which I had around that age because it plays a part in this, you know, sleep paralysis story. So anyways, this, it starts off like this, you know, I was dreaming, you know, going to sleep. I don't remember the, the dream I was having at that point, uh, but obviously I was sleeping and I was dreaming. So what had happened was I woke up and I was like half fallen off the bed and you know at the time I thought I was just awake I was like okay well I don't know I guess I just fell off the bed I don't know and I was I was like stuck like this on the, on the floor half on the floor half on the bed I was like okay I just fell off and when I tried to move like I couldn't move at all I was like okay this is weird like maybe just like my feet are tangled up with blankets or something like that like I can't move so I kept trying to move and move and move and I literally like I couldn't move at all and if you had sleep paralysis before, you know this feeling or you can't move at all. So that's when I started freaking out. I was like, okay, well, what's happening? I can't move. And at that point, when I really discovered I couldn't move, I was like, okay, I need to call for help. I was laying like that still with my eyes open and I couldn't speak. Like I was mouthing out the words, but nothing was coming out. So I was there just stuck, like laying there eyes open, looking around, trying to yell for help, not being able to move, and I couldn't do it. And it was so, so, so scary. So at that point, you know, obviously like, I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. I can't, I can't yell for help. I couldn't move, I couldn't anything. And when I looked over with my eyes, because like I said, I couldn't move my head, but my eyes were open. When I looked over with my eyes, I saw the hall light on. I was like, okay, my mom's awake. Like, like someone's gonna help me. And like I said, at this point, I don't know if I was awake or if I was dreaming, I don't know what was going on. And again, I, I saw like shadows across the, across the hallway, like my mom was like walking back and forth and I kept trying to yell, I was like, mom, help, help. I kept yelling that and I'm yelling that and nothing was coming out and at that point I was bawling because I was so scared, like I couldn't, I couldn't move, I couldn't talk, I couldn't yell for help and no one was helping me. I was like, I was like frozen. So I was laying there and then my mom opened the door and she walked in with someone. I can't, I can't remember to this day who it was. So then at that point, I thought I was saved. And she came in to try to check on me. And I thought, I was like, okay, I'm saved. Like, she's gonna get me. And she looked at me and 
thought I was okay or I don't know what was going on. I don't know what happened, but then she just uh, she just left. And I was like, I was in my head, I was like, mom, like, why aren't you helping me? Like, I'm stuck. I don't know if it was because on her eyes, like she saw I was still laying in the bed. Like, I don't know what was going on. And I, I was just like, I was so, I don't even, I can't even explain it to words right now because of how I was feeling. Just because I was like, I thought I was gonna be saved and my mom was gonna get me and she ended up and that other person just ended up walking out and I was like, I'm gonna die. Like, I don't know what else to do. I'm just like literally just laying there stuck and crying and crying my eyes out like this is a horrible dream I don't know what's happening like am I gonna die like I don't know what's going on because you gotta remember at the time this is my first sleep paralysis experience so I don't know if this was real life <laughs> because it felt real I don't know if it was a dream I don't know what it was so I was literally just crying there like crying myself to wake up or crying myself to sleep and whatever whatever was going on in my head and then just like that I woke up and when I woke up of course like my heart was beating I was sweating and I was so so freaked out and I'm pretty sure that night like I slept with my light on like everything because I was totally scared about what what just happened and you know when I when I look back at it I knew my I knew myself and I thought it was just a bad dream but when I really dissect it now I realized that that was really my first sleep paralysis experience so what does that mean now so when I look back at my sleep paralysis ex you know, experience, this first one I've had, I always like to think, you know, okay, well, what was the world trying to tell me? You know, what message was that trying to get to me? Because it obviously affected me such in a scary, big way that had to mean something, right? And of course, at the time, you know, when I had this, I never thought about that. But when I think about it now, like so many years later, uh, it was a message. And when I think about it, I think, that meant that my voice wasn't being heard. So for me, falling off my bunk bed, half, you know, half laying on the bed, half not, and my voice, just nothing coming out, just can't help, can't scream, there's nothing. I feel like that means that maybe I felt like my voice wasn't being heard, whether it was my family or my friends or anything like that. And that's a big possible, you know, experience that could have happened to me that really, you know, that really means that. And that could something that could be something that you guys relate to as well. You know, maybe your voice isn't being heard. Maybe you won't have a crazy, and I hope you don't have a crazy experience like me, like when I've had. You know, for me to discover that. But maybe that's something that you're going through as well. So, guys, that was my very first sleep paralysis experience, and it was a crazy one. It's crazy in my eyes, and I don't know if you could relate to something like that. Whether your story sounds the same or your experience is the same as mine, definitely drop in the comments below. Uh, I want to hear from all you guys what your sleep paralysis experience was, your first, your very first one. If you only had one, drop that one because you know I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to hear you guys' story. So guys, that wraps up story time for the week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that story. Uh, hopefully you guys don't have to go through what I went through because sleep paralysis sucks. Uh, but like I said, if you see yourself constantly having them or you don't know what's going on, I'm going to be dropping a video soon that really explains how to wake up from that and how to master that. So again, guys, if you like this story, if you like me, myself, my content, definitely subscribe below. I appreciate that 100%. You know, I do this for you guys. I tell you stories because I want to make an impact on your guys' life. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Check out my other videos. Peace.